Boys, welcome. The car parking multiplayer new update just got released. This is more of an optimization and UI update. However, they did add a couple of cars as well. And if you'd like me to make a tutorial of how to download the beta, then drop a like on this video. So let's have a look at all the new stuff that have been added, boys. One of the first things you'll notice when you drive towards sales in City One is that they have added this giant board, which is like a leaderboard of all the clans in CPM. And here, next to the clan name, is the clan score earned by finishing clan daily missions. The higher your clan score is, the higher it'll rank, just as you can see on this board. Interesting. So, if you open the settings and click the color correction button, you will see that we now have a new feature to change the reflections on the car. One thing I like about this feature is that it can make the car look like Chrome, which means we will no longer have to download third-party apps like Game Guardian to do a Chrome color like this. The Porsche 919 Hybrid was added to the game, and it goes for 3,000 coins, making it the most expensive car you can buy with coins. This car is a one-seater, and it only has one door, just like in real life, and unfortunately, it does not have any body kits. But this car does. This is the Ford Bronco. It was also added on this new update. The interior doesn't look too bad. It doesn't have a whole lot of body kits, but it's better than nothing. Don't get me wrong, but nobody is going to be driving this car. So it doesn't really matter if it does or doesn't have body kits. This car goes for 1,500 coins. We also have a new UI for the incoming friend request. The context is still pretty much the same as the old UI, but the design is different. And the final car is this Lexus. I kind of forgot which model this is, but it looks pretty good. The interior is giving BMW vibes, and this car goes for $410,000. And when it comes to body kits, it doesn't have a lot. These body kits are as good as the Ford Broncos, the previous car. But we appreciate the effort the developers be putting into these updates. CPM is slowly getting better each and every update. The reporting feature in the game have been advanced. We now have the option to choose a reason for reporting a player, and each player can be reported a maximum of five times on a single server. And on top of that, they have added opening doors and hood on a couple of cars. CPM also promised to add the opening doors and the animations on these cars. And while we're looking at the cars, I'd like to give a shout out to these awesome subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. I truly appreciate it. If you also want a shout out on the next video, subscribe and comment shout out. My goal this year is to hit 100,000 subscribers and we are currently 97,000 subscribers away from making it come true. If you'd like to help me crush this goal I set for myself, subscribe and let me know if you believe in me. So after this, I'm gonna show you guys the new stuff that was added for the clan. And we're also gonna do a sound test and speed limit for the new cars. So if you're interested in seeing that, watch this video all the way to the end. So boys, let's do the sound test. I'm quickly going to upgrade all the cars. I'm not going to install any engine, we'll go for the stock, so we can get the best sound. This car is packing 287 horsepowers after all the upgrades I just did. And this Ford Bronco got 371 horsepowers. And the highly anticipated Porsche 919 have got 907 horsepower. Keep in mind, that is with the stock engine. The top speed for the Porsche was 418 kilometers, and this is with the W16 engine and stock gearbox. 
The Ford Bronco's top speed was 411 kilometers, making it the slowest car out of the three. And the Lexus top speed was 436 kilometers per hour, which means it's the fastest car out of the three. They also added a couple of activities for the clan, and they all cost 3,000 clan coins to purchase. If you're wondering how much 1,000 clan coins cost, they cost 12 USD, which means to unlock one of those activities would cost you around 36 USD. In my opinion, it's not worth it. Go buy a burger or a pizza instead. So this will be it for the video, boys. I'll drive around the clan area to show you how it really looked like without any upgrades. If you made it this far, comment W so I know who the real channel supporters are. And as always, stay sexy, boys. Peace. Oh,